Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day ever. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day, girl. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, bitch, you have found me. Make sure you have that, girl, what? Make sure you what, bitch? Make sure you what? I was gonna say, make sure you hit that subscribe button, not hack that subscribe button, bitch. Anyways, bitch, hit that subscribe button, okay, bitch, and make my day, okay? Anyways, you guys, listen, we gotta talk, we gotta talk, all right? How was your day? Happy Monday, happy Sunday. No, yesterday was Sunday, bitch, today's Monday. Happy Monday, bitch, how was your day? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so listen, we gotta talk about Hailey Bieber walking the red carpet by herself and Justin Bieber saying, girl, I don't know that hoe. Listen, listen, okay? We gotta talk about this because Justin did not walk the red carpet with Hailey and a lot of people are talking about why in her big return to, you know, the, the the red carpet after the whole Selena Gomez issue, why he decided not to walk the carpet with her, right? And then he felt so, um, they felt so, you know, it, it got such big, you know, attention that he had to post about it this morning. So let's talk about this. So they both went to the Vanity Fair party and she walked the red carpet by herself. I told you guys about the Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner icing her out moment on the red carpet. And he, Justin, her husband, girl, he didn't even, he didn't even go with her. So listen, this was Haley's big return to like, you know, the media, the press, right? So it's her big return after the Selena Gomez thing. And people were like, all eyes on her, her right? We have our binoculars, bitch. We are we are analyzing everything, bitch. We are we're the ones like who snuck in and we're hiding behind like in the in the stalls. Like we're hiding behind somewhere, bitch. We're like, you know, trying to like, you know, um, what's it called? Crawl in it and we have our binoculars, bitch, and we're watching. You know, that's us. We're the messy crew, right? Well, listen, he was like, I'm not walking the red carpet with you. You know, I can imagine this is how it went. She was like, Justin. Hey, Justin. No, that's very Courtney. Anyways, hey, Justin, you're walking the red carpet with me, right, baby? And then he was like, no, the vibe is not is not right. Like, I really do feel like we just need to not walk the red carpet together. The vibe is not right. What do you mean, Justin? I need you to walk the red carpet. We have to show Selena that we're united. Yeah, just the vibe isn't working, Haley. What, Justin, I need, Justin, I need you to walk the red carpet with me. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? I feel like, honestly, this would have been a perfect opportunity for Haley to win and say, like, you know, I am together, we're together, we have a united front, and no, bitch. He said, no, girl, mm, mm Well, listen, so many people are talking about it that he actually took to his Instagram and posted this picture and posted my date so people know that they were there together. You know what, bitch? Listen, I have to honestly tell you that I feel like Hailey Bieber at this point has no support. You know, Kylie and Kendall icing her out. Justin, you know, you know, not walking the red carpet with her. It shows a lot. Whether you want to admit it or not, it definitely says a lot because I feel like, you know, if you really take away their marriage, Justin has worked his ass off for his career. He has worked and worked and worked, right? Since he was two years old or something, you know, banging on the drums and then he got discovered and, you know, he's he has not stopped working. And obviously also he has a lot of, you know, anxiety and like, you know, he has, um, you know, yeah, he has anxiety and panic attacks and stuff. So maybe he didn't want to deal with the red carpet and he knew you know, everyone on their team knew that this red carpet was very important for them to walk because this is her big return and it shows they're united. But you know what I also thought about? What if she didn't want to walk the red carpet with him? Because she was like, I want all the attention to myself. I want, you know, my name out there. And like, if they would have walked together, maybe people would have analyzed like their body chemistry, their, their, you know, their body language. They would have analyzed everything and then would be like, girl, he don't like her, girl, he hates her, girl, he, you know, he, mm -mm, they're not even together anymore. Um, you know, here is my, my theory. I really do feel like when you've worked so hard to make a name out of yourself and have an actual career, you don't want stupid pettiness to ruin that. And, you know, Justin did see, like, in the first couple of days of this whole Hailey Bieber thing, a lot of people unsubscribed from him and or unfollowed him. And a lot of people, like, you know, wanted nothing to do with, with Justin or Kylie or Kendall. And now they're sort of, like, rising up again. And, you know, 
because they've kind of taken their distance from Haley. I mean, look, he didn't even comment on his her birthday wish. You know, he didn't even reply or, or liked or anything. He didn't even post a picture of her on his birthday. You know, the only picture was they look like complete total strangers, you know? So I, I honestly just feel like they didn't, you know, Justin was like, I just don't want any more bad press. And I feel like that is exactly what they would have gotten had they walked the red carpet together because you know, we would have been making videos like, girl, you know, they only walked the red carpet to get back at Selena. You know, they're trying to, they're trying to do this to Selena. Like, girl, we are like that. We are messy. Okay, bitch. You and I both know that we are messy and that is why we love each other and that is why we stick to each other. Okay, bitch. Um, not me putting on my, uh, Queen Bee lip oil lip gloss on. Um, I got this at Ross. This is probably the best, best of the best because it stays on forever and it smells so good. You know what, bitch? At this point, honestly, Ross better fucking sponsor me, bitch, because I am single-handedly keeping their light bill on, okay? Their lights on, because the way that I promote Ross, there's like, bitch, are you kidding me? Um, anyways, so what do we think about Justin not walking the red carpet? And obviously, we know that that post was definitely for the public to think that they're okay. There's hardly any pictures of them together at this event um you know a lot of people are saying that he looked really out of it a lot of people are saying that she looked really sad um i honestly just feel like at this point in time it must be very difficult because like you know coming from like a place of justin bieber like you know he's probably like wants to you know he probably wants to be able to just have his career and you know not have any like negative press or anything but then comes Haley bieber and does all of these like weird ass things that obviously is going to get a lot of bad press so then you're like what the fuck are we gonna do here like you know you keep on fucking it up for all of us you know what i mean so anyways what do you guys think and also that instagram post was so like you know it was so like planned it was like justin everyone is saying why we didn't walk the red carpet together um Je no justin can i borrow your phone for a second and she posted it herself bitch. allegedly my opinion is just alleged bitch i'm just kidding um but yeah what do you guys think let me know in the comments below um listen it, it it just honestly, if I were in Haley's shoes, I would have been really upset that my husband didn't walk the red carpet with me, especially after all of the things that went down that I caused myself. Because you know that is a single feud. That's a single person feud right there. Because Selena Gomez, girl, she is not feuding with you, honey. You're the only one feuding here, boo. Um, but anyways, what do we think? Um, I hope you're having a really good Monday. I am feeling so much better. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support and the wishes. I'm still like, I would say like 70% better. So I'm getting there, you know, I'm getting there, bitch. Little by little, I'm getting there. So little by little, my energy is gonna come up and come up and come, and then I'm ready to twerk on a dick, but ooh. Not twerk on a dick. Oh, girl, ignore that I just, Sebastian, edit this out. They don't need to know that you need to twerk on a fucking dick. No, edit this out, bitch. No, edit this out. Anyways, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go, I, we are, oh, my husband and I decided to change up all of our furniture. Let me tell you guys something. If you feel like your energy is a little off or you just want some change and you want some new energy, change up everything. You know, change all of your furniture position. Change it from one room to another. Change from one side to another. Change. Change is always good, you know. Rearrange your furniture. That's amazing for for fresh energy. Trust me, you will love that. Um, I think it's so important every now and then to change. We, we do it about every like six, seven months. We like to change it up. So, you know, we move one chair to another corner. We, we, we go from one, you know, to the other side. We put the couch on the other wall. You know what I mean? Just like kind of rearrange furniture, you know, do a little saging, do a little Palo Santo, do some prayers. It's important to shift energies because some energies like to stay and that's not good, bitch. Anyways, I love you all. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.